One day, one day, little Rim Rims, there will only be the Furry Crusaders. Before today, there's actually not very much. We, we don't even have lights. Welcome, everybody, back to Rimward Ideology with the Fursuit Crusaders, the supremacist animal-loving raiders with a, with a passion for all things drug. So I wanted to try and fill out all of our various different colony roles today to get the full access to all of our powers, right? Filteros Kusharellis. I've given him the title Bringer of Fur, which had that minimum skill of six shooting there. That's a lot the ability Marksman Command. And our final role is Whisker Toucher. We need six animal skill for that. But we very conveniently have a prison of people who, uh, one of them anyway, has the animal skill that we need. Yeah, there we go. Top priority is break these people down. Bring them into the faction as soon as possible because they're all very, very skilled. And then while we're working on that, slowly head towards microelectronics. I would love to get the power armor as soon as possible. It would be so, so good to see, even, even though the basic recon armor has an animal variant to it. I think the second we've got research benches, though, powered research benches, we need to go for drug production. I'll put down a basic smoke leaf making area for the time being, but we do need to, let's just say do forever. Why the hell not? No, we need some for the autobahn. Do until we've got, uh, I guess 40 is probably okay. And then I think we might even have to go as far to put that on a schedule because when they, that's why smoke leaf is broken down right now because she hasn't been quote-unquote high in ages despite the fact that yesterday we flooded the entire bloody room with smoke leaf minus 10 whoa caused by belief in fursuit crusaders <laughs> we could also just take one of these people on as a slave instead as yes, we could take maker they're upset because we don't have any slaves in the colony so i suppose we'll just go enslave and see how this works but it'll also be a nice little mood bonus too and this guy's only good at what like building building crafting oh intellectual shit Maybe we can recruit them after we enslave them. No, I'm going to have to recruit this guy. You're, you're too good. We'll, we'll, we'll save the enslaving for someone who's, like, good at just plants, for example. Oh, and the convert power is off cooldown. Now, we want to go for Delange first because they've got a very, very high social skill. And I assume with a high social skill, they'll be able to convert other prisoners a lot faster. So let's go for you first. 20%. It's not really going to take that much time at all to get them flipped over, is it? And then tops in there. Yeah, so it just goes by regular social skill, the same as any wardening. Unreal. Look at these moods. Got married to top. Got some love in times 10. She killed a couple of people. She likes her husband. She's comfortable. This is... This is mad. Did that just say that Kusharellis broke down because of a cramped interior? Ah. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Bloody base game room or characters their need for their own private mansion each. Nice. There we go. Maker went berserk. Cut the shit beat out of him. And Delange was like, actually, yeah. This feels pretty good. I could be a fursuit crusader. You're right. Fantastic. And I think our convert power is, is off of cooldown again. Who do you want to hit with this one? Uh, 13, 13%. Wow. Okay. That's worth it. Five points remaining there. Fantastic. Let's get you recruited now. Nice. Wow. That was so fast. Top converted maker. So maker is now ready to be fully recruited as well. And I mean, can you blame them? These don't count as innocent, right? If they're trying to kill us, that's, that's fair. Let's use that marksman command. How is it this difficult to kill a bunch of deer? You guys suck. What does that do? Plus four shooting accuracy, minus 40% aiming time. Well, that might be the difference when it's getting wiped out by freaking deer of all things. Thank you. Good lord. Ah, oh, psychic soothe. And luckily, it affects absolutely none of our prisoners. Oh my god, look at how many bandages they're covered in. Wow. This is working well, though. They're all beating the hell out of one another, lowering each other's moods. Granted, it is going to be a problem when we have all three of them recruited as colonists, but... You know, Kusharel has tried to flirt with Rad by talking about his own body. Oh, right, because it's it's a free love colony, eh? What do I do now, then? We can either choose to give her a double bed with... With Kusharelis or keep her with Top, I suppose? I guess if you've got somebody who's, say, got, like, the depressive trait or something like that, where you want to uh, maximize their mood a little bit more, it might be better to swap them over. Ah, damn it, that's annoying. We don't exactly have very much food, so I'm not, not a massive fan of that, thanks. Oh, transport pod. Dragon. Dragon is Rad's father? Holy shit, the plot thickens. Uh, Crafting 10 Intellectual 2, I do quite like. He's, um, 20, 26? She's 24. Oh, that's, uh, that's a weird one. It took so long for our colonists to get there. The guy died before we could rescue him. Well, hang on a minute. That's not right at all. And that spirit is broken, and now he believes in manly creed. That's not what I'm after. Man, I'm just, I'm just really struggling to feed all these colonists. I can't, for the life of me, figure out where I'm going wrong. 
<laughs> if you're wondering, Smoke Leaf is down because of the gut worms. Because she's a wimp and they cause a slight amount of pain. That's it. She's now completely out of the picture until that's dealt with. We've got just an insane amount of cloth right now. So I'm going to get Rad to make all of the uniform specific apparel. I mean, they are constantly vomiting and we haven't got nearly enough food to feed them all. But at least they'll have a cowboy hat. What? He's changed from First Suit Crusaders to Tribal Blood Sion? What the friggin' hell is Tribal Blood Sion? The cannibal tribe? It's so weird that they can just flip over to an ideology that, as far as we know, they've never been exposed to. So it might be better then to reduce resistance first, then convert them, then when they're converted, kick them out. What we can also do is we can have a uh, conversion ritual. Who do we want first? We want, we want the, uh, we, we do want the launch first, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh, we can only convert Nat? Really? I guess because the others are injured from where they just can't stop beating the shit out of one another. <laughs> Wait, the fallen to... That's the friggin' Empire? What? You sent a, a man in power armor at me already? Fucking hell. Not pulling his punches, eh? So we got bolt action rifle, revolver, bio-coded LMG, and you should have the machine pistol. Well, uh, I mean, we're not ready for this, but here we go. Okay, good luck. Let's get... I think they're more or less behind cover there. Let's bring you up on the diagonal. That should do it. Well, good luck, I suppose. Okay, watch out for that. As long as I micromanage top, luckily the guy that's... Uh, fuck off, Rad. Fuck off right now. Luckily the guy with the power armor has uh, also got grenades, so it's quite easy to dodge. What's not easy to dodge is... um, Well, that. I can't do anything about that. Good. Fuck your legs. You deserve it. What an absolute shitbag. What a fool. Oh, they killed him. That's a shame. So I think we can knock him and get his, uh, get his power armor, but that's okay. That's all right. How's Rad doing? Five hours. This is going to be tricky. I won't lie to you. This is going to be very, very tough. Uh, let's focus on just killing. Focus on just killing her when the button works. There we go. And then they might retreat, and then we might have to worry about it. Nice. Yes, exactly what I was after. Get, get back, and they should start running. Uh, some fucking retreat you got there. Unbelievable. Yeah, kill her dead too. I think she's going to get away. I hate to say it. How are you doing? Bleeding out in five hours. You've lost an index finger. What have you lost? Just a toe. Okay. Uh, Dr. Um, Dr. Dr. Top with his two medical. Oh, they're both equally as shit. Luckily, we can just tend to them out in the field now without having to. Ah, hello. Plasteel plate armor. I'll fucking take that. And a shield belt too. Ah. Uh, well, obviously, we've got to patch these guys up first. You're going to last eight hours. Then I'm, I'm taking that. That's mine. Well, they might not die immediately, but the infection is probably going probably gonna to kick them around a little bit. I hate to say it. Okay. Top Notter. Let's get you stripping her. And then let's get you... You can just carry her back. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Top only has to wear the cowboy hat, right? So we'll give him the plasteel plate armor. He's fucking prisoners. Just calm down. For God's sake, get in there. Chill. Please don't kill him. Yeah, like, actually don't kill him though. Maybe just, that's it. That's good. Just beat him around a little bit. I think I'm going to make separate cells for them because this is, this, this is ridiculous. Cusherellis and Inblunt now. Brilliant. By comparing her to a fine tree, that's a hell of a compliment for this colony. What's the point? Why give them separate cells? They're just going to beat each other anyway. Hello, Lane Bowers. He's got high plant skill and good cooking. We need you. What, what, are your, what are your traits like? Fine. Actually, all right. I'm going to try rescuing him. And if he doesn't join us, then he, he goes in the bloodbath of a prison. Boom. There we go. Hello, Bowers. Now we've got to convert him, right? Yeah, see, no, this isn't going to work. Hello. Would you like to join us? I mean, if you don't, come and take a look at the prison. Oh, 8167 is quite good. We could go for a full-on conversion ritual, though, right? Yeah, there we go. 66% quality. 54%. So it's likely to be effective. Could get lucky again. Does he does he have to lie there? <laughs> can he not can he not stand up or is that I guess it's just part of the ritual. 67 to 37 is actually very, very good. There we are. I'm sorry, that really is the best I've got. <laughs> I'm so so sorry. Kronk's destitute nomads. 18 days. We get three refugees. I mean, obviously we're gonna refuse it. We are. First suit crusaders after all. They knew what they were doing though. Changing their name to Kronk to try and convince us. It's a good strategy. <laughs> well, it was gonna happen eventually, wasn't it? Everyone's pissed because we're not going out raiding, which is one of our four major memes. But I mean, also, look at this place. It's a fucking dump. 0 0.9 remaining. 
Holy crap, we've almost done it. Boom, that's another resistance broken. Top is doing good work here. This is why he's alpha. Delange only has 5.3% in that random thing he converted to. Certainty reduction 5.2%. Does that mean we can actually just straight up convert him right now? Ah, oh, shit. It was rounded. Damn it. Oh, look at that. Finally, we've got a new person. Calvin Delange Horn. First suit crusaders, 12 melee, and 13 social double passion. That means I can finally let top go. Thank you, Top. You've been an incredible warden. I mean, Smoteleaf has no skill level or outcome associated with it. So even though he's, like, terrible at crafting or co cooking, cooking? I think that's quite right. It means that whenever he hasn't got warden duties to do, because there's only two prisoners now, he can be, uh, you know, can get some of the good stuff ready. Oh, shit. We got Maker as well? Look at this guy. And he is actually part of our ideology. God, I hate that word. He is actually part of our ideology as well. Barcelona, bloodlust, and jealous. Jealous might be a bit of a pain in the ass there, but the 13 crafting the 11 intellectual absolutely is not. Welcome aboard, my friend. Do I have to convert blowers as soon as possible, but it's not really that kind of urgent, to be honest. And when we recruit Nat, we'll actually have someone capable of taking the last roll that we've got free. The Grey Shrew Robo. Sounds a lot more... Sounds a lot more scary than it actually is. Well, the second we start getting some good research underway, I might go for firearms, to be honest, because this is, um, this is pretty piss poor. We got five people with firearms, so I suppose we got that going for us. No, we don't. Delange, get out of here. One, two, three. Smoke leaf? Smoke leaf doesn't have one either. Did we lose a gun? I wonder if they never picked it up from where we fought the Empire earlier. Uh... I can't see anything. Well, never mind. Uh, good luck, I guess. Okay, squad. Here we go. We've got our powers active. My god, they're getting absolutely peppered. I do love the new damage effects. I think it looks so much better than it used to. I think we've got them. This is, this is good. Look at that. That was, that was quite nice. I think these powers are just so freaking good. So combat, so combat command gives plus three shooting accuracy, plus three melee hit chance. And then marksman command gives plus four shooting accuracy. That is insane. What it means is we can use weapons like, say, miniguns, and we can actually use them a bit more liberally now. The problem with miniguns is you have to use them on mass, right, and then just hope that some of the shots hit. If you've got, like, a shitload, and then they've all got plus seven shooting accuracy, did anyone survive? We absolutely peppered them. Look at that person. Oh, good straighter. Hello, you might have a weapon. Oh, or not. They do have some of those cool animal masks. I wish I knew how to make them. They're just war masks, huh? They sent us a siege? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, they got flak armor. Relatively low-tech weapons compared to our really low-tech weapons. Oh, this is that new mechanic where mortars need a barrel nail to build, and they get degradation similar to, to turrets, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't actually seen it properly yet. I've only read about it. Okay. Let's be very, very careful. Pick him off from a distance. We have got our powers available this time, so that's a bit of a shame, but... Oh, God. This is horrible. Got a good few shots in here. We're weakening them up quite nicely, making them nice and squishy, but it is still seven versus four, and they've got go juice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good shit. Incredible work. Okay, we're taking cover. We could pull back, but to be honest, they're doing a pretty goddamn good job. Let's bring Rad down to, like, here. Top, I'm going to bring you... Oh, God. Please watch out. How far out of range are you quite significantly let's bring you down here then it is a little bit of a gamble but i'm i'm all right with it and let's go down to here and then hopefully she should be able to yeah there we go there we go oh this is horrible waldo just fuck off already we've got raccoon as a potential prisoner we've got some weapons more importantly which is pretty fucking high tier come on team good shit there's another one down headshot on waldo our people are doing fine i'm actually genuinely kind of surprised how well our people are do you think we could take her out? Now nah, she's gone. All right, how are we looking? 17 hours to 19 hours. Other than that, no damage. Wow, that's actually like real good. And we've got guns for everybody else. You can have that one. You can have this one. You can have... Oh, I'm capable of violence, Blower. You suck. Uh, come grab this then. What about these prisoners? Do we want them? Medical 13. I'm a big fan of that. And what about you? Social 12. Oh, I don't think I could be bothered with that. We've already got a good social character. And we have to go through all the rigmarole, of course, of actually converting them. I could say this, though, for sure. Good shit. There we are. Okay, that's another one in. Let's start with uh, reducing resistance then, I think. I will admit, I, I think I might have inflated our colony wealth a little bit beyond our combat potential right now. I haven't looked at the... Uh, yeah, I hadn't looked at the wealth graph. We're already at 75k. So this friggin' smoke leaf. 
I mean, it's our culture. I need it. Boomalope self-tamed. Uh, okay. Sure. Sure. Fine. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so you really can't set animals areas anymore. You have to use the, the, the pen system that they've added. All right. Well, let's see how this goes then. Just throw down a... Let me close. Build fences. Sample animals. Cow capacity in summer. Whoa. So there's a limit to how many animals you can keep in a pen at the same time. Ah, oh, well, that ruins all my zoos. There you go. So we can hold 21 chickens. 13 goats. Oh, I assume this would count as a, as a goat. Damn. Top has inspired recruitment, so I'd really like, to, really like to use that if we can. How long have we got? Eight days before we can start another conversion ritual. Well, I mean, an effective one anyway. If we do it now, it's only 39%. I mean, it's still 46% chance for being effective. I'm all right with that. Uh, let's throw you in then. Come on. Oh, there you go. Masterful conversion ritual. So that means he converts immediately, right? Boom, first suit crusader. So now we'll just go prisoner and then recruit. And then the second he wakes up, top can just get that guy immediately. That was, that was great. Don't give me game mechanics where I can gamble. I'm always gonna gamble. <laughs> oh, you fuckers. Stop him. Melee attack. Don't, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him though. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Just melee. Just melee. Fuck, they're armed. The prisoners are armed. Ah, oh, shit. For God's sake, just as we were about to recruit them, kick him. Bring him down. Don't shoot our people. Right. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. Ugh, I've got to be sensible. Oh, they shot him anyway. Oh, you idiots. Oh, it's fine. You'll be okay. It's just a few bullets. Oh, nice work. Tried to convert blowers. Blowers is down to 61%. Bear in mind, blowers isn't our... Our idea legend, we might just want to throw him in prison again, because that actually kind of worked last time. There's no middle ground. It's either everybody's starving to death, or we've got just an obscene amount of food. All right, let's, uh, let's, like, cut this in half, at least. Oh, and then they took it automatically to the pen. Oh, that's pretty great. So it might be worth just building pens immediately in case you get any tamed animals, because they'll just fuck off over there. There you go, we got him anyway. Well, Nat is a melee character, so I've given him that steel axe we had before, and I thought we might as well give him that friggin' shield belt too, actually make him quite useful. You know, it would be useful, though. Getting microelectronics they've been working on for hours. Who's our, who's our researcher? Maker. Uh, fucking stop growing things. We don't need any more shit grown. Thank you. My god, thank you. It's taken so long. I never thought I would see the day where we got a crumb of research bench. Okay. Ah. Uh, well, look. Here's the plan, then. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Let's bulldoze this room. Sorry, prisoners. This is going. Oh. Great timing. Uh, this can go. Then we'll build a prison and a hospital down towards the uh, towards the bottom of the base. We could really do with some sort of kill box. So I guess we could just build an extension off of the uh, off of the base. Something similar to what do you think? Something similar to like this. And then if we also so we want to we want to funnel them in, right? Like we did in the combat extended series. So if we do something like this, that'll probably work really really well as a kill box. And it's pretty convenient to our base, too. Yeah, that's probably quite quite good. And then all we've got to do then is throw some sandbags just across here. And to be honest, that's probably fine. Uh, we could put down, like, a couple of spike traps, too, I suppose. What is a neural supercharger? That's part of the transhumanist meme. Ah, I see. Fair enough. Yeah, look, there's also the biosculptor research, too. Neither of which we really need right now. Um, I, I mean, look, geothermal generator would be pretty high tier. Same with solar panels, because our current power is, um really bad. I think I'm alright. Oh, let's throw down, let's just throw down the bench before I get a bit carried away. Oh, you shit. It died to the flu? I even bothered tending it as well. Oh, well, you can piss off then. Oh, god. Mechanoids. That's a bit bloody soon. Okay. I love that we've been playing the other campaign for, what, 20 plus episodes at this point? Not a single mech raid. Episode 2 of Base Game Room World, we've got them. Okay, two scythes, please. Oh, bollocks. In Blunt is gonna die. I'm sorry. Implant is almost certainly dead as dicks here. Uh, let's get some cover here then. We might as well, if we rush it in and take away the one advantage the uh, mechanoids have, let's also get you just like straight up charging them down. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Okay, a little bit of cover. Oh, that'll do, that'll do. You stand there. Okay, get in there, get in there, get in there. Flank them. Let's go right here. Nice, good shit. Oh, easy. Oh, it's easy. Mechanoids, big baby weaklings. Never, never a doubt in my mind. Oh, 10 components too. Thank you. Wait. <gasps> Wait. Oh, there was another. 
They came in multiple groups. I smashing up my batteries. Okay, are we actually done now? Like I was saying. Big baby weaklings. How you doing, Smoteleaf? You're alright. You almost were horribly killed, but you're fine. Are we gathering for a marriage? Oh, hey. It's Kusharellis and Rad. Wait, Rad? Rad's marrying Kusharellis? I thought she was... Oh, well, hang on. You can you can marry more. That's going to take me a little while to get into my head there. There you go. A double marriage. Nice. Do you get the bonuses from that too? Like opinion of my husband, opinion of my other husband? Or is it just, just one husband that you care about? It does seem to be like that. Okay. Do we want to go for deep drilling? And go all in early on, on big resource. I think I need guns. I just, I just think I might need some guns. Smithing, machining, and then we'll go straight for... Oh, man, flak armor, though, would be so fucking high tier. We've got to make sure everybody's completely covered, too, because that's the... Uh, that's one of our policies, right? I we could just make everybody burkers. Counts as outer layer. Well, until we get a fursuit. Well... How incredibly esoteric. Are you going to be upset, though, because you don't have your correct outfit for your job? No? No? I, yeah, I guess he doesn't care because it's fulfilling the other outfit obligation. Oh, but you do want a cape, though. Okay, but if we give you that, then you're going to be upset because your body parts are uncovered. It's like a minus four or a minus four. Well, I think I'll keep everybody uniform for the time being. When they sleep wearing a burka, their hair falls off? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, that makes sense. Ah, oh, the Owo Festival. How could I forget? Okay. Uh, can we do it from... We have to do it from here, right? So begin Owo Festival. We have four out of six speakers, but we've already got 100% quality. So there's no point in building the others. Fine. Should we just do it? Should we do it now? Is there any downside to that? Ah, oh, what a party. What a thoroughly bizarre situation. Um... <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is going on in this game? I'm not sure I even know anymore. And it was a fun Owo festival. Oh, very nice. A mood for six days. Okay, smithing is done. Let's go machining. Oh, altar of animals disrespected. No work facilities allowed. Oh, well, we could always put it in here. I mean, we could turn this into a proper, a proper ritual room. I'm right with that. Autobahn. Ah, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and that just works by... Oh, that's interesting. It works like a, um, a psychic... Like a, like a psychic beacon. What are they called? The psychic, uh... Psych, psych... Okay, well, I think the way we'll do this then is that, um... Let's get rid of the table. Let's go for a bigger table so that people can actually... With the table. Meme dot... PNG. And then I assume the auto bong means that we don't need to craft. We don't need to keep crafting smoke leaf joints. We just refuel this thing. That's incredible. Um, well, look, we need. I, I was thinking we just put one by the kitchen. So, like, right by the dining room table would be pretty ideal. Oh, man, it can't cover the entire area. Uh, we could just put it by the door, I suppose. Put it there by the door. We'll also catch the people going to the research lab, too. Let's drop it there. And we could drop another one like over here. Machining is done. Hey, there we are. Fantastic. Oh, free muff. Oh, what a great day to be a fursuit crusader. And there he goes. That's taking the, the free muff back to the back to the pen. Holy shit. Wow. 15 days, huh? What, 15 days from 25 smoke leaf? Damn. Holy crap. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably do it, eh? How you feeling? Oh, yeah, no, that's that's done the job. We could probably take away the crafting spot now. A new lovers. It's top and in blunt. This, with a mod like children's school and learning, any sort of pregnancy mod, would be would be just pure chaos because everybody's married to everybody and loves everybody. God damn, that is so... That's so silly. What do you refuel it with? Is it just the pure smoke leaf? Because I noticed they were carrying over that smoke leaf joint there. I guess they were carrying it to try and smoke it. And then while they were walking through the cloud, they got hit by it. Ah, oh, so we do just keep topping up. That's so fucking good. Oh, nice. Hey, there we go. Perfect. And now you can be recruited right away. Welcome. So the one person we've still got left to recruit is bloody blowers. How are you looking? Ninety three percent. Okay, well look, we've got to, we've got to make this better. There he is. Wow, that was so bloody fast. So I, I figured we should probably put down some of these, uh, some of these floors as well at some point whenever we get enough wood to do it. 
Honestly, I'm a little bit horrified for our base right now. Because if there's a fire, this whole thing's going up in... Smoke. Well, I suppose it's a bit late for that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There's a bloody lot of Outlanders. It's Maker's brother. Okay. Are they coming in drop pods? Or are they just, they're just all over the place? Oh, yeah. They're drop podding. Okay. Here we go. Using throw frag grenade on wooden wall. Igniting wooden wall. Using throw frag grenade on wooden wall. My kill box is... is uh, it's fallen apart. It's, it's already... It's already over. Okay. Yeah, thank you for that, you fuck. My fucking walls. Oh, now you're going through the friggin' kill box. What the hell, man? Right, kill the lot. That's it. Come on. Come on. Straight down the middle. What are they doing? I mean, I don't think they even fucking know. Right, you go put the fire out. Following Fleming. Following Moss? What? What? Yeah, that'll teach that jet engine a lesson. The fuck? Go back to my bloody walls again. Uh, sir, this is a sacred place. You're going to you're going to prison for a long time. That's a war crime. I think only got grenades. Well, that's not ideal. Let me back off a little bit there. Oh, maker. Oh my god, that was fucking close. You're right though. Uh, your arms are almost both completely clean, blown off. But other than that, you you're fine. Really? An incendiary launcher. But what I was saying about not feeling so happy about this base. I come under attack. It might go up in smoke. Okay. Are we good? Right, undraft. Let's sort this out. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't panic. Did he lose an eye? No. It's okay. His eye was just shredded by frag grenades. It's not the same thing. <laughs> okay, fine. You win. I'll build the stone cutter tables. More new lovers. Delange and Rad. Rad is just collecting them all. I thought I'd throw down a couple more auto bongs for, you know, for good measure, really. Let's shore up these walls a little bit. What have we... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter what we've got. Let's just say make any stone bricks and we'll do it until we've got... Um... Base game reward. Let's do it until we've got like 600. And then raccoon is terrible. What is stone cutting counters in base game? Is that crafting? Good stone cutting. Yeah, wow. Uh, I guess I'll put a point in that. Smoke leaf. It's binging on smoke leaf. Ah. I think I've got you beat to that one, pal. Smoke leaf is going to go and stand in the kitchen for a while. Just when I thought that it wouldn't get much better than the burn bong, we've, um... Yeah, we've really, really gone way too far today, huh? Thank God I grew just an insane amount of smoke leaf earlier. It was worth, I think, almost starving to death for. So let's go gunsmithing next then. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go, let's go play armor. Because we can wear flak jackets under the burka. We can wear a couple of flak items, actually. Flak trousers, too, I assume. Could you could you put this in a kill box? <laughs> could, you, could you smoke them out? I love how fucking weird this colony has gone. High on smoke leaf. I'm like stone man. But also, he's a little bit pissed off that we haven't got any slaves, nor that we've killed any prisoners recently. They're simultaneously the most chilled out, but mo most blood... Don't come in. Don't come in. No, you idiots. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I've started sketching out some more of the base here. I thought we could have specific areas dedicated to specific things, but I'll go into more details when I've made them up. Thank you all for watching. I think we've done an incredible job today. Tomorrow, maybe some black armor. That'd be quite handy. Love to get the multi-analyzer done and start heading towards that glorious mecha fursuit marine and cat... I don't know if there is a cat right variant, but I know for a fact there is recon and marine armor, so... That is going to be so, so high tier when we get there. I can't wait to watch us wipe out the world one step at a time with giant mechanical rabbit ears. Thank you to Anastara, Falcon Alaris, Alvin Flang, MTB, Jexel, Blaticus, Neozilla, Hippie Springveer, Slickback, Fairy Wiz, Kickfit Array, Orcs Chops, Hwalg, Steak and Bacon Akins, Night Rouge, dot, 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 and everyone else at the Executive Producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. It is much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying the extra content. Thank you as well to Maya, Salakata, Wide Riot, A Good Chunk of Balsa, Sendi, Juniper Berry, Garnuba, Sam Haruni, Ann Aurora, Ever Vigilant One, Lilac, Cameron, Alexander H, Rommel DK, Spongy Bomb Monster, and Tofu10. Hello. If you're watching, I edited out 30 seconds of content and now the video is far lower than the regular runtime. So this is just you and me, together at the end, the way it always should have been. How are you? Um, just, just 
really trying to fill for time. Maybe we should do one of those things where it's like, oh, if you're listening to this bit, leave a comment about whatever it is people talk about. Man, can you believe that uh, uh, that one swan pulled the arm clean off of uh, Jesus himself? Mad. Maybe you should leave a comment if you've got an opinion on that. You know?